My name is Arun Kumar and I am the driver. Welcome to Driven Diary episode 42. What is Driven Diary? It is the documentation of my life as I build a billion dollar automotive services brand in Driven Auto Co. Check out Driven Auto Co to see everything that we are doing. We're balancing independent automotive aftermarket mergers and acquisitions consulting with a shop. Right now we have one shop and the plan is to build this up into a billion dollar enterprise that transforms the perception of automotive service in the USA today. In this week's episode, I explore South Dakota, which is somewhere I am hoping to move to and I'm already using for other purposes. I also get into some beef with many different neighboring shops. You saw a bit of that last week and it is continuing into this week. And lastly, I have to call our cops yet again, and you'll want to wait until the end of the video to see why. So I hope you enjoy it. Let's get to the video. Sunday, noon, and I guess I rented a Tacoma TRD. I'm visiting my office in South Dakota. Let's get on with the afternoon. I'd say less than $400 at Walmart. Came out looking pretty good. I am, uh, I'm not using hardly any of my 120 square foot space. I mean, that's, that's it, but you know what? It's bigger than a closet, it's more than I needed, and I even have a closet in here. It does have the, uh, the old heater in it, so I don't really have it, but. Anyways, tomorrow I'm getting the internet installed here, and then, then I will be official. I have my new resident card here for the USPS. I kind of feel like I'm playing house a little bit, but on the other hand, I do legitimately have an office here and you know, it's nice to be able to make it a bit more of my own. So with that, I am going to get something to eat and then I have a meeting with a realtor up here and then Go do my second workout and hit the, hit the bed, hit the hay, hit the hay. Yeah, long day, tired. I like it out here. Gorgeous views much better cost of living. Very nice people, entrepreneurial opportunities. Lower cost of doing business and a significantly better tax climate. Work in progress. Just one of those things where I get to make and live out my vision by taking action. It's good today. Almost fell. Monday afternoon, and I am basically shopping for shops. That one was, it's on like probably an acre and a half and they've got like 70 cars out there. This is, this is weird. It's also very automotive around here. Everything is quite dirty and industrial and nothing is paved, which I wish that was not how it was, but I guess that's how zoning works here. 
Anyways, we're gonna keep going around the corner here. It's a car for sale. Turn you guys around. The E46 M3 right there. Not totally in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> just, just mostly. <laughs> I thought I was gonna find more auto repair shops. There's a tinting place over there. Twin Performance Specialists. This is a dealership of some sort. So I'm gonna go around again. I wanna show you guys that first shop. It's gonna be this one right here. Look at all these cars. That is, it looks like a used car dealership, but it's actually a repair facility. Anyways. Just exploring, getting to know the area, getting to know, you know, potential acquisition targets out here. I don't know, I like this location though. It's like right at the edge of town, pretty dirty, dingy place, not very well developed. I think I like the other location better. Let's head back over there. Tuesday morning. <clears throat> Just about ready to head out the door to the driver's licensing center in Rapid City. So I got about an hour drive back down to Rapid City and then I got an hour drive back up to Lead, work in the office for a bit, go to an AA meeting in Spearfish, do my second workout, shower again, and then head to the airport. So productive day ahead a lot of driving and I'm a little nervous about the driving and the flying because between yesterday and today I have very much noticed that my back is not in a good way so I I unfortunately come to see I mean a lot of people who do this vlogging type thing that they're bigger guys Daniel Asheville Rob Bailey and they talk a lot about their back issues so I'm a bigger guy I got back issues I guess that's how it goes um, my spine is once again a little bit of a squiggly line so all I did for workout this morning was stretching and very 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 light lifting I have to focus on having a very good posture when I'm sitting in the car sitting on the plane sitting at the DMV <laughs> Um, so I'm trying to stay positive about that and just keep moving forwards, but I'm ready to get back home, back into an environment where I know I have a little bit more control. You know, this, this mattress is not great and that's a pretty common thing that happens on travel, but I'm, I've got plenty of mitigating plans and just putting them into practice. So I'm tired, not caffeinated enough, but all the driving, I, I want to uh, not have to pee all the time, so I'm just uh, taking it easy this morning. Talk to you later. Well, 8.30 in the morning. So far today, I have driven down uh, about 60 miles to the Rapid City Driver's Licensing Office, where I was promptly turned away for trying to apply for a driver's license at an office, or using an office address, and it turns out you can't do that. So this whole thing about physical address was wrong. Fortunately, that ends up being a small piece of the puzzle here. And in coming down here, 
I got the chance to explore Rapid City, which I am actually continuing to do right now. Got to have breakfast at a nice diner. Now I'm headed towards the neighborhood where I really like what I'm seeing on Zillow. And I will show you what I mean when I get there. These are houses that are literally three times the house that I currently live in for half the price. It's a good fucking deal if you ask me. And the people are extremely nice here. Everybody wants to converse and communicate and smile at you when you walk past. And it seems to have a lot of the amenities that I would like in a place. And Rapid City is better looking, in my current opinion, than Spearfish. It's about 10 times the size. So that's certainly a big part of it. And I now just need to make the moves and, and uh, get the family on board and get the, get the, uh, what's the word? Student loans paid off, close the deals. So pivotal year ahead. The plan though, for how to execute in the coming couple of years here, we're starting to extend it a little bit, which feels very good. We're extending out the plan. It's making a bit more sense further out into the future. And, you know, a lot of where, you know, I talk about vision and envisioning things, that's all starting to come together because I have the 10 years from now vision very clear. How to get there, every step of how to get there has not been as clear, but it's getting there. So that's that's what I'm excited about right now. I'm going to turn this camera around and show you what I'm seeing. This would be part of my daily commute. Nice winding road, rolling hills. It's a beautiful place. And I'm here in my weird 2024 Tacoma. That's been a very interesting vehicle that definitely has contributed to my back pain, but I won't, I won't fault my car for that. That's the third Tesla I've seen out here. Holy shit. They exist. They actually do exist out here even. They're not every third car like they are in California, but still. Reminds me a lot of the greater Seattle area out here. I'm a big fan. It's only 82 degrees today, or it will be in the heat of the day. 82 degrees, not very humid, but yeah, let's go see these houses. Springing out of the hills is this wonderful neighborhood. <clears throat> I believe it's called Red Rock. I think I could live here. I think Evelyn would like to live here too. Nice area. Thursday morning. They basically didn't record anything yesterday. Got home super late Tuesday night. Got straight back into the routine on Wednesday. Was at the shop, running the shop. Bounce into Schwartz Advisors work. And my back is still sore, but I'm doing well enough to be able to take the dog on a walk here. And it's good to be back in the routine. I think I've been doing it for a long time. And it's been two months or so of like no travel at all. Very little disruption just in the routine, making huge progress. And today I should have a $150,000 SBA loan that funds. And that will help me tie up a lot of loose ends, make a bunch of really good moves. And you'll see what comes after that, which I'm very excited about. But just, it's, it's another sort of certification that I am doing the right thing and that I'm able to get a lot of basically fronted working capital so I can just keep moving my businesses forward. So that's very exciting. Um, I made a very strongly worded post on LinkedIn this morning that I'll put, I'll put right here. 
Now, I'm not going to recount this. I posted a lot on my Instagram story about this. Basically, there's just so much blatant illegal activity and blatant just disregard for doing good automotive service business even just in these shops in my little plaza and this is happening all over the freaking country and I hate it and it's so driving for my mission it's why I am driven to do this that I just hate seeing customers get taken advantage of get robbed like literally robbed like this and it's just bad bad business like no communication actual theft just blatant disregard making your employees wash your freaking boat in the middle of the workday. like what the hell is going on why can't you just do good business it's not that hard but so those are the kind of people i want out of this industry so that we can not have such a bad name now yeah that's that's my rant staying on routine plenty to do today big financial gain happening today so let's keep at it thursday 8 18 a.m slow start to the morning but it's one of those days as i mentioned earlier where i'm waiting for the wire to hit <laughs> it's a good day but it's one of those just come on now I want to see my bank account grow by a huge factor. Just waiting. <sighs> Friday afternoon, 2.04 p.m. And it's very quiet around here. Tom is on vacation, Raul is at lunch. So I'm the only guy in the shop. But productive, as always, continuing to get work out. I would say, most importantly today, we had a spontaneous pre-purchase inspection request from someone who has a fleet of work trucks. And we had a great conversation and exchange and I got a business card. So hopefully that kind of turns into something. I've had quite a good opportunity that I can't tell you guys too much about, but it is a catalyst for change, forward change in driven auto care, which I'm very excited about. The SBA loan funded yesterday and we made quite a lot of important payments that have reduced our overall debt, have reduced our interest carry, and have made me feel a lot more comfortable with the direction of the business. This is money I honestly anticipated getting about three months ago. So to have finally taken it in is, is good, it's very strong. So that's about all I got. Pretty run of the mill week since getting back from South Dakota. My back feels a lot better after going to physical therapy yesterday. Still not perfect, but much better. I have tools to improve. That's it for now. Happy Friday. Still very slow at the shop here. So I decided to write the next script for the next marketing video in the back of my limo. It's nice, my 420 SEL. It's good for this at least. We're driving into the sun again, so you get the sunglasses truck driver to ruin. Saturday morning, I'm on my way to an AA meeting, and I just had to call the police. And I've had to call the police a lot in this 2024 and late 2023. I've called the police going on eight times, I think, something like that. And it's always been for reporting abandoned vehicles or theft of my business or attempt of sale of stolen property back to my business or homeless people camped out at my business. So I guess you could say a lot of it is down to the fact that I own a business that is around the corner from a giant homeless encampment. But this one today was not. I was, I was about two blocks from my house and I had to call in an abandoned car blocking traffic. I don't know why they thought that was okay. They just got out of their car after the suspension broke on it 
and it couldn't roll anymore. They just got out, put a traffic cone in front of it, and fucking walked away? What is that? What is that? So, I reported it because it's blocking traffic, and it needs to be towed away. That's like a normal citizen thing to do, would be, oh no, my car is destroyed and I can't use it anymore, I should probably get it out of traffic. No, they just put a cone in front of it and left it there. What's happening, folks? What, what's happening? I think there's enough is enough with what we are, what we tolerate at the bottom end of society here. Everybody needs to get better. Everybody needs to become a better person. Can't just tolerate this shit. I, I think, I think the solution is if we actually start cracking down on the things that are legitimately detracting from society that would that would help instead of focusing on all the bullshit emotional crimes that don't actually exist anyways i think the way i will wrap up this week's driven diary is i will put in some clips right here of the homeless row right next to my shop, just so you get an idea of really what I'm talking about here. Okay, welcome to Stewart Street, Fremont, California. This is about one mile. Notice the state funded or city funded porta potty there. The garbage cans, city funded. Our tax dollars at work. Somewhere in here is probably all of the stolen tools that I was not able to take back. I've been threatened by people in here. They frequently will take their bicycles over and case out our area, which I will be able to show you very easily here. I'll be able to show you just how close the shop is. There's another city funded porta potty. But you'll get to see just how close I am with Driven Auto Care to this. Now, I know that in doing this video, this is horrible publicity, but I am happy to say two things. Number one, these people don't really care about stealing cars that are in repair because they don't plan on going anywhere. Number two is my shop is Fort fucking Knox now. So people will not be getting in there. Here's one of three caliber collisions on this street. Here is a van handicapped van manufacturer and then if we come over here we arrive at the auto care plaza which includes driven auto care i will just show one video going all the way down the street of all the homeless people and you can uh, wager for yourself if you think we need to do something about our society and what we're tolerating right now. So, with that, we're going to wrap up Driven Diary episode 42. So, if you're watching this, I hope you are somebody who is dedicated to improving your life. I know very few people actually make it to the end of these videos. But for those of you who do, I really appreciate it. Please like the video. It will help us boost our YouTube algorithm rankings. Leave me a comment with any feedback or questions that you have about the video. And make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss next week's Driven Diary. So, until that time, I hope you can go make your life as good as you possibly can make it and stay driven.